I've heard before that it takes three installments in a series to know if you're interested in it, and I'm here to test that out. Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and this is Rule of Three. The final pick of the wheel for this batch of episodes was the Super Mario Kun manga, another suggestion by that hack guy. Written by Yukio Sawada, distributed in Koro Koro Comic, and published by Shogakukan, the manga has been running since November 1990, with its first volume released in July 1991. Its first official release in English was a best of compilation by Viz Media under the title Super Mario Manga Mania in December 2020. For this episode, I'll be reading the first three chapters from a fan translation. With a drastically different art style and humor that's more crude and risque than the typical Mario fare, will it be an enjoyable spin on the series or will its differences set it apart in a bad way? Let's a go! Starting off with the visuals, I described it as drastically different, but that doesn't necessarily make it bad. When I first learned of the manga's existence, I didn't really like the way it looked too much, but it's grown on me since then. I like it. The only other thing that I kinda wish was there was some color, since the Mario series is usually so vibrant, but black and white is the norm in manga, so I can't really fault it for that. Then the writing. The story goes a mile a minute in terms of progression. There is always something new happening, and I think it could have slowed down here and there to make things a little more cohesive. I lost some details because of just how rapid fire everything goes. The chapters are pretty short too, so I imagine they pack in a lot of stuff over the course of a whole ass volume. It reminds me of comics I made when I was 12 years old, which I don't have anymore, so if you were hoping for an SNT style riffing, sorry I guess. For characterization, it's a little samey. It feels like everyone's generally mischievous, maybe except for Yoshi, without other traits to balance it out. Normally, Mario and or Luigi doing things like using Yoshi for bait or trying to bribe an enemy would be pretty out of character for them, but here I wouldn't put it past anyone to be doing things like that, though I get that it's for the sake of a joke. Speaking of, when it comes to the comedic bits, it was pretty good with some fun dialogue and actions. I knew there was some more raunchy jokes going in, but wasn't expecting ones like Luigi shoving a gasoline canister up Mario's ass to make his fireballs more effective. The manga's sense of humor definitely had me laughing in some places. Won't be judging the comic by this, but the fan translation does a pretty good job too, though it sometimes does fall into the usual trappings manga and anime translations do with characters swearing a lot or jokes that don't quite translate well and have to be awkwardly explained. One thing about it that could use some improvement is, although it wasn't common, every now and then the text would be weirdly crammed into the word bubbles. Didn't look quite as good as it could have been. So with that said, is this something I'd like to continue? I'll end on a positive note and say yes, I absolutely would. Super Mario Kun's storytelling is incredibly fast-paced, which makes it a little harder to follow, but the comedy within is so batshit insane I think I'd like to see more, at least to the end of the first volume. And so concludes the third batch of Rule of Three. I'll be sure to pick out a fourth at some point and have that set of episodes out next year. Until then, I have been Skull902, thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.